Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today I've got another small box, <laughs> but this is a pretty cool one, I reckon. But first, I shall be taking a sip of my pineapple golem. Cheers, guys. Hmm, that's okay. I hadn't tried this before. Normally it's with orange juice. This is not bad, but I prefer the original. Anyway, let's have a look. I guess you'll uh, know from the description what it is, and I'm pretty sure I know what this is too, and I must be honest, I'm really quite excited for this. So, let's have a look. <laughs> there you go. Here she is. The 8-bit do <laughs> mechanical numpad. And I've got two in here because I've got two 8-bit do keyboards. And these should be in the in the styles of the keyboards that I have. I've reviewed one of the 8-bit do's and I'll probably do either a mini review or a combination review of the other one as well. Um, together with one of these numpads, I guess. Uh, the normal ab 2 I think, wasn't quite enough material on its own, but there is enough new stuff now that I think it should make for at least one full review of something. So, let's have a look at these, uh, I guess. So this is the uh, C64 version, and this is the NES version. I think they also have one for the Famicom version, which is another style of uh, keyboard that they do. They just keep cranking out amazing keyboards. It's really cool. <laughs> right, so let's start with the NES version. Very quick to unbox, come to think of it, or at least the main box. Right. get rid of that I also don't like the color quite as much as the original but hey when well, they don't sell orange juice without crap in it anymore at your supermarket I guess pineapple has to do mother fuck it come on Jesus Christ oh man it really doesn't want to give up its secrets <laughs> There you go. It's a cable, simple cable, just USB A to USB C. A manual, which may come in handy in a second. And that's about it. That's just a foam insert. And then we have here, together with uh, inspection paper. What is it? Uh, quality control. We have BAM! the mechanical <laughs> numpad, but this isn't just a numpad. Now, if I hold it close enough to the camera, you may get an idea of why it's not just a numpad. Look at the keys that are on there. You spot one that's a bit weird out? Yes, exactly, there is a C key here. And <laughs> indeed, that means it is a calculator and that's also one of the reasons that there is a display I know you can also do uh, games on it mini games which look a bit silly if I'm honest they look very simplistic almost like tiger handheld games I might show them in the actual review but okay let's see can I power this on yes I can so it's got these red uh, red digits on it. There you go. You can see it Okay, maybe I have to switch it on and off again Just to be able to Okay, it doesn't really want to show any more than just 84 on it for the moment <laughs> But no oh well I'll switch it off just to save some uh, some battery power. Of course, it's got a uh, uh, brick-shaped USB dongle on it, just like uh, just like the keyboards themselves. So this is also wireless. It's got a a, a wire, why is that? sorry, a cable port on it, but you can also use this wireless. I don't know how much charge it has, but 
why it doesn't matter too much. And I'll show you the other one now as well. Fun with numpads. <laughs> I really like the fact that they went for red digits as well. I'll show you the box. It's a little bit easier to see on that. You know, those red digits, they just look really nice. That's such an excellent touch. I don't know, man. Abe do really have a, a nice sense of fashion, I think. They just make really good looking stuff. I can't speak about their controllers because I absolutely hate controllers. But in terms of keyboards, they've got the styling nailed. Okay, this one's also. Yeah, come on. Get it. Get out of this box. There you go. I don't. <laughs> I don't accidentally want to put the boxes into each other, or I might never get them out again. Same cable, obviously. And here we go. So one of the distinguishing features uh, that the um, C64 version has which is also present on this numpad, I can already tell through the packaging, is spherical keycaps. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <clears throat> Good sound, of course. Uh, and this one's also set to 2.4 by default. I Okay, the, oh, this must be battery power. So it says 100 now. I'm not sure how it's, maybe I accidentally switched it on. But, um, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> I guess I'll just hold them both up for you real quick. That is so nice. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. So a little bit of background, I guess, is warranted on this. I did my PhD in catalysis, among others. And for that, you need to use a calculator a lot. On the fly calculations, you need to do them constantly. Rapid fire calculations. So you use Excel a lot, but it's also really, really useful to have a keyboard with a calculator in it. So I used a Focus 8000 for a while during my PhD and then later a Focus uh, 9200, I think also a 9000. Just having a calculator in your keyboard is so useful, but Almost no keyboards have this nowadays. And so <laughs> having a calculator numpad, one thing you can also just put away if you don't need it, especially because the normal 8-bit dude doesn't have a normal numpad, it's just really nice. So that's why I'm, I'm so enthusiastic about this feature. I think you can also do some other stuff with it. I may have to look that up. Like I said, it has a couple of games in it. They look really simple, but I'll I'll show you them in the review. Either the, a combination review or just of this. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we'll see when I get some more uh, some more use time, let's say, on this battery state. Oh, this is very short. It's just in a lot of languages. Low battery, BT mode, calculator mode, blah, blah, blah. Ultimate software V2. Allows you to customize key mapping, macro, and more. Yes, that's what I wanted to look up. So you can also use this as a macro pad, which is, of course, great. Now, it comes laid out with number keys by default, which is useful for the calculator mode, if, uh, if anything. But I guess you can also stick others on it. It just might be more difficult to use as a calculator in case you're doing that. <laughs> oh, man, I just feel really giddy about this. So I grabbed the two other keyboards that go with this real quick. This one doesn't have any keycaps on it because I stuck the all keys metal keycaps on this recently for another review. Oh, I should switch that one off as well. <laughs> it's easy to accidentally switch them on. And I know it's a bit difficult to compare them with the keycaps off, but still, you know, I think that goes together quite nicely. I guess you want it here though, right? Yeah, nice. And then the other one, C64 one, 
which I think might be, to be honest, I think this one might be even better looking than the NES one, and that's saying something. There you go. I mean, that just looks, wait. Oh God, really? It's magnetic. Oh, I'm so glad I did, <laughs> I tried this. I don't think it'll actually hold, but there's definitely a magnet to the side of this. You can kind of see it snapping together. It's not strong enough to prevent it from actually falling off entirely, I think. But yeah, you can probably make out that there is a magnet in this. That's so nice. <laughs> Man, that's so cool. How did they think of that? Did they pre... I guess they must have already thought of the numpad when they designed this. Does this also have it? Because this is an older model. No, this one doesn't have it. Yeah, that makes sense. So this model, maybe new versions of this will have it. But I know this is a newer model, so they probably already had this uh, pre-planned. That's so cool. Stand up. Yeah, it's not quite strong enough to really hang on it, but it's strong enough to prevent you from, from easily pulling it, you know, together or something. That's, that's really cool. Really nice, such a nice touch. Oh, I'm a dripping. Well, <laughs> um, so come to think of it, the other uh, ABED2 accessories, they use a, a simple aux cable to plug in. So, for example, um, this one came with uh, a two-button macro pad and also a, a joystick, which I guess I'll be showing in the review, <laughs> which you can program with macros. But this one doesn't have an aux cable. It uses USB-C. So I guess you need a USB-C port um, uh, separately for this, and you can't just you know plug it through, which kind of makes sense because this is much more complex than just, you know, a, a two-button macro pad or an analog stick. And I think this would probably take too much, I don't know, too, too, too many different commands or something to send to this keyboard to, uh, to really work. So that's probably why they went for a USB-C connection still. And that also does mean that you can use this without the 8 do keyboard. The other accessories, you, I, I'm not sure you can use them without them because they use that aux cable. But this one you can just use as a standalone. And it's not even that expensive. Off the top of my head it was, what was it, 45 euros off of Amazon? Oh man, this is great. <laughs> I just live for shit like this. <laughs> well, anyway, I think of... Um, uh, I've I've gone on about this for long enough, but um, I'm really uh, really excited to go uh, to go to town on these. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you like I hope you liked this video. I should say, and uh, you'll see these again in probably a few weeks time or something. I don't know. I've got so many unboxings and reviews to do. But anyway, until the next time, see you later, guys.